All right, good morning, everybody. Doing the morning routine on the couch. Love or not a fighter, contendersclothing.com. Use Kid Poker 20 to save 20% off. We got Edward drinking his morning coffee, playing the marathon today. We got myself checking out some of the comments on YouTube, and let's just start right there, why don't we? First and foremost, you know, I mentioned yesterday we were going to be adopting a child. We were looking into Haiti. We were looking into places and processes where, you know, the whole thing can happen quite quickly. We don't want to wait two to seven years, which is pretty much customary here in the United States. There's a whole bunch of red tape and it's very, very difficult to do in America. Um, otherwise, that would certainly be an option. Um, it's more costly. You have to wait longer, a bit of a mess of a process. So unfortunately, that leaves us, well, I mean, not unfortunate. We're going to help a kid from wherever. I don't give a shit about these imaginary lines that are drawn like, oh, this country, you can adopt a kid. This country, you can't. It's a kid. We're going to take care of a kid. We're going to give a kid who doesn't have opportunity, who's you know, looking for a loving family and Amanda and I are going to give it all the love in the world and I don't give a crap where, well, I mean, I don't really care. The kid, I don't care what line he was born in, in terms of country or whatever. It's completely irrelevant to me. We're going to, we're going to do that. So other thing I wanted to mention, um, for full transparency, got home last night, woke up this morning, realized, man, I did not play well last night in the eight game. Nope. Uh, I did not. I, I don't know. I think I was mentally drained. I think the three bubbles in a row, uh, as well as um, just the the fifteen hundred dollar mixed game structures are kind of a problem, and uh, not a problem. I mean, they're, if if you're only playing a couple of them and that's what you're there for, great. But for me, they're not that good because they're four day events, four day events for the fifteen hundreds, and it takes like two full days to make it into the money. So uh, I think I pressed a little bit. There was two pots where you start with ten k. I gave away like three thousand on a flush draw. Probably shouldn't have, and another one instead where I called an open paired door card with two paired should have folded there too um so that it was like 6k in chips of the 10k so I, I mean i didn't run well either but i certainly did not play my best um so we're going to rectify that right away and that's going to happen listen we're playing six seven weeks straight uh i'm not going to be uh you know at full power as phil helmuth would say every single day let me see what else did i want to mention here there was one other thing all right today so this is interesting okay so um today as i said we're going to be playing the 600 plo it is like a turbo Okay, it is like a turbo structure, which means obviously we're going, it's 1230 now, we're going to be leaving here any minute, um, which means rebuys are going to be a thing. I mean, almost assuredly, we are going to play probably a little more aggressively than average in this spot. So just so you're aware, we're going to, you know, we're going to push some small edges to try to build a stack and, you know, if not rebuy, uh, definitely want to have a big stack in this thing going in by the end of the rebuy period. Other thing that came up, new on the schedule i just got the email from brett hanks is i look at the world series schedule there's another 50k and it's happening at the end it's the final 50 it says and so it's a 50k with unlimited re-entry so where does that go right well the way that i'm looking at it we sold a low package to those that were lucky enough to invest a mid stakes and a high stakes the high stakes package only had four events in it it now has five so we're going to just throw that in there because essentially what we said was every event above 10k that is one now we're probably not going to be playing it because it's July 8th and that's when the main event is happening. And we're obviously going to win that thing. So off to a good start today. Had my coffee, got a little cuddle time with the puppies. Eddie's up. Eddie takes good care of the puppies. Yeah. You're a good son. See, we already have an adopted son. Him. One of you guys was worried about Eddie. Like what happens when we adopt another child? Like poor Eddie, does he have a place to stay? I don't know, Ed. Are you, are you are you concerned? I'll get to teach him sports and piano. You're gonna get to teach him sports. He brought he built a piano and brought it here. That's very strange. <laughs> and taught himself how to play piano. Very weird. Very weird and talented, okay. I would say. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's get this day started. Another study session for Eddie. Okay. What are we studying now? Oh, deuce to seven. Deuce to seven. Yeah. So what are we learning? I'm learning that it's a fun fucking game. <laughs> it is. Or it's a fun freaking game. It's okay, you can say that after <laughs> So you just put hands out, look at them, and then digest. Yeah, yeah, I can tell on each player. Hashtag Eddie Solver. <laughs> the dogs are going nuts. Guys, what's your deal? The pooper scooper guy is here. Hey. Paulo. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Ah, uh, yeah, enough, enough, enough. You did good. Come on. Get inside. You're a good boy. Rocky. Rocky, come on. 
Rocky, shh, listen to me. There you go, good boy. Come inside. Good boy. I would expect to know anyone at my table in the 600 deep stack. We got two PLO geniuses over there and then Chance. <laughs> Get it? How I did that? <laughs> two guys. <laughs> uh, Chance is off to a good start this year in a pot. Betting. The last thing I did have about one. Hey, YouTube. I'm trying to mess around. Attention all one again. Each second you start to cover three things are on new blinds. One hundred small blinds, one hundred big blinds, one hundred big blinds, empty. One hundred, one hundred, one hundred, next day at all. Got the call. Quads. Quads. That's how he plays. Four fours. All right. No wonder you're winning every day. Okay, we are in foreign territory here in the pavilion on the first break. I got two PLO hands, two breakdowns coming for you when we get to the trailer, both involving one Chance Corneth, who's on fire, made two final tables, likes to gamble it up in PLO, and uh, these two hands are both rather interesting. Alrighty, let's get right to it. First and foremost to the hand where, uh, first one against Chance. Okay, the blinds are two and 400. As I said before, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna gamble it up a little bit in this thing early, which is pretty common. Um, we go ahead and raise with the three, five, seven, eight to 1,000. And we get four callers, so it's 5K pot. The flop is 10, six, three with two hearts. So we've got a double belly and a pair. It's checked to the button. It goes all in for like 4K. Chance makes it 14,000. We've got the straight draw, we got a pair. Not a great spot, but again, like I said, we're kind of gambling here. We call the 14K. Turn is a six, so we have sixes and threes with the straight draw, really not good. Uh, Chance goes all in for 14K. We call, and we have him crushed, <laughs> as it turns out. Chance turned over the ace, deuce, four, jack with two hearts. So my pair of threes was good, and the only card he could catch was, because the four is no good, makes me straight, he needed to catch a jack or an ace or a heart. So pretty good spot there as it turned out with just a lowly pair of threes. We were able to double up really, continued to, to grind all the way up to about 125,000 uh, before this happened. Player limps in at four and 800, four and 800 blinds, player limps in for 800. Chance makes it 3,000. I'm in the small blind with an absolute beauty. I've got ace, ace, king, jack, two clubs, two hearts. This is about as good as it gets in this game. I make it pot, 10-6. The first player calls all in pretty short. And then Chance also calls behind, and he's deep as well. So we don't love playing out of position deep, but if you're gonna do it, this is a pretty good hand to have. Uh, so he calls. Now the flop is Jack of Diamonds, five of spades, five of clubs. That's kind of a great flop or a terrible flop, right? Um, it's, it's pretty black and white in that sense. Like there's no draws there, so we're not worried about cards coming off, but Chance could easily have a five. I mean. You get four cards. You could have a hand like five, six, seven, nine, four, five, six, seven, any one of those kind of rundown hands, and he's going to play uh, in position for sure with a deep stack. So I decided to make kind of like somewhat of a prodding bet, um, bet 7,000, which is actually fine uh, considering the pot size, about quarter pot. He calls, he peels. Now the turn's the 10 of clubs. So now we have a gut shot, we have aces, we have flush draw. Um, and uh, this is a tricky spot where I could check. Um, I could bet call the shove. There's a lot of different things I could do. I like to bet 16,000. Again, relatively, you know, downsized bet. Um, he calls again. Don't love this anymore. Because I have the ace high flush draw, the king high flush draw, because I've got both of those cards. I've got the ace king of clubs, as I said. Um, he calls. The river's a three. I check, and chance goes all in for 44.8. Getting a really good price to call here, right? Getting a very good price to call with the aces. The problem is, I think he pretty much knows what I have, aces in this spot, um, the way that the hand played. And uh, there's just very few bluffs that he's gonna have here. Like, is he gonna really just turn queens or kings into a bluff, which was one possibility, knowing I have aces, thinking he can do that? I don't think so, I mean, it's possible, but I decide to, after a long tank, I took quite a while, I folded my aces 
and chance turned over queen queen 10 10 so he turned a set of tens and made a full house so pretty unlucky spot there because um you know we were in good shape to win a monster good news is we still have eighty-five thousand up from the 30k starting stack uh and we've got another four levels of 30 minutes to play before the rebuy period ends we're on still one bullet and we'd like to stay there doing good in chips man if we would have won that pot we'd be like massive chip leader so break time snack time back to work I'm in a little bit of shock uh, what just transpired. Got some more, a couple more hand breakdowns for you from this PLO. Um, long story short, the last hand before dinner break, the last opportunity to rebuy. We've been on one bullet the whole time. Had a nice stack and some crazy hands. We uh, are out, but are going to rebuy after dinner break with 30K. Uh, I'm going to tell you some hands because this is, this is fun. Okay, both the hands I'm gonna share with you are up against Bryce Yaki. As I said, my table is absurd. For a $600 PLO, like I recognize half the table. Like, what are the odds of that? It makes no sense. So we were doing good, and then, you know, of course, we talked about that other hand. We had the Ace Ace King Jack and lost the chance. We hit a 10. So here we go again. Uh, this first one, uh, you don't have to do a hand breakdown on this one. I'll just tell you what happened. It was chance raised. I called. Bryce called. I have five, six, six, seven. The flop is Jack, six, eight with two diamonds. So I flop bottom set and open a straight draw. Uh, and Chan, uh, Br Bryce only has 30K. We get it in for his 30K. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I have a set. He, he's got the draw, whatever it's cool. He has three jacks and he has a flush draw. Like, I mean, what the hell? So short, you know, we doubled him up for 30K. We didn't hit what we needed, but th this is the last hand. So we're, 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 you know, we're fine. We didn't rebuy or nothing. It's the last hand before rebuy period is, is over. Chance raises in the cutoff to 5K, one and 2K blinds. The button calls. I'm in a small blind with an with a ace, king, king, five. Now, in a normal situation, now you know, I re raise with that hand in a lot of cases, depending on my stack size. My, I had no suit. It was Padugi. I mean, all four, you know, no flush draw. So I liked it to play a more cautious route. Um, you know, in, in hindsight, maybe I could have just re raised pot there and got it in, but I still had, you know, decent amount of chips. I had above starting stacks, so I didn't want to get spewy. So Bryce comes in on the big blind, which is going to be problematic, as you'll find out, because the flop comes 5 5 4. So we got three fives with the ace. Okay, check, 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 check. Turn is a jack of diamonds. Doesn't matter, backdoor diamonds there. Uh, now I bet uh, 12K into 20. Bryce calls from the big line, which we don't love. So we think now, you know, he's probably got a five, but we do have the ace kicker. So if he's not full, then, uh, you know, we're gonna win the pot. River's a seven, which completes a straight draw. Uh, I'm not too worried about him having a straight. I mean, three, six or six, eight. Like, like I said, I think he has a five, so if he has a five, I mean, you got to have very specific cards to have straight there. So I, I go ahead and value bet half my stack, basically. I have like 31.5, I bet 15, um, looking to get a, like a loose call from a five. He calls instantly, I show my ace five, and he shows eight, 10, four, four. So he flopped fours full, the bottom full house. So we had to rebuy. I'm gonna watch the Raptors game on dinner break um, and then jump in and, uh, you know, go back to square one. All right, we are all set. The line for registration, last minute, look at that, out the door for the PLO. We got the game on here. We got the game on there. I tried to pair my Bluetooth thingy earbuds to this, and I'm too stupid to do it, so we won't have sound, but we are set. Okay, come on, Raptors. We need a little push here in the second quarter. Okay, this is the hand one. I had aces, and I doubled through this gentleman with kings. Hand two, I have aces, and I'm going to double through again. Let me count my money. 50, 60, 63, five. 63, five. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Back to back. Aces against Kings against the same player. 63, five. If you cut it like that, maybe it'll be a different amount. You know? 63. <laughs> all right. This game's all right. Back in business. New player joined the table. Hey, Dan, say hi to the people. When do you think hi, it's people. appropriate to cut your nails? Like at the table or? Whenever I damn feel like it. So at the table, it's cool. Whenever I damn feel like But not toenails, like nails, it. right? Okay. Because he does that, just for the record. I'm not a fan. <laughs> All right, we're on crunch time here. Everybody's watching the game. When Golden State scores, I hear people cheering, and I'm going to punch them in the face, I think. <laughs> hey, you, got, you got one guy with you. Yes, go Raptors. Uh, one point game, 30 seconds to go. Chip stack looking healthy. Situation in the tournament. Pays about, what, 380? We're at 580 now. Come on, Raptors. 
All right, bro, not the result we wanted over no. here. No, Had no. a shot, right? I Down the stretch. I now we're in it. trouble. We're in big game trouble. Six, game seven. <laughs> Danger. All right, we'll see you all Thursday in the Raptors game. Meanwhile, Danger. over here. We got, uh, we got tournaments to win. We are on the direct bubble right now. Man, my face is up close in there. Direct bubble right now, so what better time than to have Shannon do her thing, a little rub down here at the World Series of Poker. Uh, 388 left, 370, 387 get paid. I can't imagine with this many people the bubble will last very long in a turbo. So hopefully it goes quickly, move on to the money, make a deep run. All right, people, look at this here. We got ace three diamonds, flop is 863, two diamonds. We got this player with two pair of flush draw. This player over here. Oh, hold on, he's falling over. He's got a flush draw and all that. So we needed a queen, a jack, a diamond, a three, an ace. Uh, a lot of outs, man, and we didn't hit any. So we're done, but we squeaked into the money and lost a little bit. That was annoying. <laughs> so really insane hand. Really just nutty hand. Um, big freaking pot, like million chips, massive. Under the gun raises 18K. Another player calls, I call with the ace three of diamonds, queen jack, player behind calls. Flop is eight, six, three. You can do the hand breakdown thing if you're not sick of it already, Athena. You've been doing so many today. Flop is, as you saw, eight, six, three, two diamonds. Player bets pot for 90K. I have about 300K. It's, uh, go time with that hand I got if he's got like kings with a flush draw I've got you know all the outs the ace three or the diamond um makes me like a favorite now unfortunately for me I didn't want to see this but it actually was good for me in a way is the player behind me goes all in two so it's three ways and he has eight seven six four so eights and sixes with seven four diamonds the other player who opened had eight nine ten queen with diamonds as well hey but uh, so so he had diamonds too. <laughs> so I'm gonna run the hand because I'm really curious to see like what the equities were. Um, but I mean, wow, what a monster hand. I had 270,000 chips, three ways. That's like, a wow, million pot. Oh, well, now we have to do decision time. We can still reg the stud eight. Now, a lot of players have been um, saying they're not gonna play the 1500 stud because the 10K horse is tomorrow. And the way that the structure has panned out Unfortunately, with the four-day thing, it seems a lot of people are disappointed in that. Some people on Twitter were mentioning it. They, you know, they weren't too happy about it, so they're going to just skip the 1500s. I may, it may make sense for me to do the same thing. So let me think about it for a minute. And study eight. It's such a shame too, because study eight is like my favorite game. To skip it, it just might not make sense though. To uh, just might not make sense to play it and, and then burn time and energy when I should be in the 10k horse. All right, so this guy's on the trailer too, hanging out. <laughs> All right, um, you're in the uh, freaking marathon. Go You'll be in there for a hundred years. Go. We've made a decision. I just can't skip it, man. The World Series of Poker. I'm obviously not happy about the fact that like they are what they are. But listen, I I look at it this way: the World Series every year does everything they can to improve things. Sometimes it just goes a little sideways and doesn't work out exactly as hoped. I think that's the case here with the four-day event thing, but. Uh, I mean, study it. How do I? How do I miss that? What I'm gonna do though? It's 10:30 right now. Um, I could jump in right now and how oh, flustered. That seems like a bad play. This is after busting. So the late reg is till midnight. I have another hour. I'm gonna hang out here for an hour and then max late reg and jump into the study eight. Um, you know, and, and make sure that I focus on like, you know, playing my A game because I didn't last night in the A game as I said. So I don't want to have that happen again. Um, the percentages. On the hand I was all in. It's very, very interesting because three ways I was the favorite, 37%. Um, however, it's interesting is if either player would have folded preflop, I was a small dog to either player. Interesting, right? How, how poker can work that way sometimes. Um, but having both players in was really good for me. But I had a million chip pot. We've been cruising in that thing. But because um, all three of us were above average in stacks, you know, um, it just seemed like uh, I've seen unavoidable. I don't know. Like, I mean, I could. I, I just don't see any other possible way for me to play. What, I'm not going to play ace, three of diamonds, queen, jack to a, to a min raise? I mean, come on. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, so, yeah. So, I think we're going to give it a shot and study. Yeah. And then, yeah. 
Yeah. Let's start eight or better with Yuvi, Yuval Bronstein, newly crowned World Series Poker Champion in the trip to single draw. No, single draw. Single draw. boy. And then we got this guy, polar bear. Dude, it's not even that cold this year. I don't get it. I wore a t-shirt every day. You're not cold. You're just doing that because it's cute. I'm not cold. It is cute. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Good read. <laughs> I'd say so. Hmm. Oopsie. Hey, there you are. All right. So, uh, we played the two hours of the stud eight. Over half the field is gone. It's gonna pay like 70 spots. There's about 195 left. Start with 10K. And about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes in, I picked up a huge hand. I had uh, three clubs, made four flush on four, made the flush on six, and it was a four way action pot in stud eight. And nobody made a low. So I ended up uh, doubling basically in 15 minutes and then continuing to Build my stack up to 38,600, which is very good. I think the average is around 23, 24. Um, now we just have to hope for some good run gate, run good on, on day two. Obviously what this means is, you know, uh, the 10K horse is no longer because we're gonna do well in this thing. Um, you know, and that's kind of what our plan was coming in. We're just gonna play next tourney up. And obviously we'd like to play as many as we can, but quality over quantity. So what matters most and for me to skip a stud eight i mean like it's my arguably my best game i'm very confident in it i love it i enjoy it so i also enjoy horse though so kind of put put us in a tough spot there so we're just gonna give it a run tomorrow get some sleep tonight go check on amanda check on the puppies and uh get our solid eight hours see you tomorrow y'all